What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I know I'm in kind of a different setting. I'm actually just like turned to the side. I'm just sitting on my bed just because I thought this was like a different, more casual video. And yeah, I just wanted to switch things up. Yes, I'm wearing a sweatshirt with Kylie and Travis's face on it. Just thought I would get that out there. So today's video is my 10 tips to survive finals week. And um, basically I just wanted to do this video because I feel like I do finals pretty well. I'm usually not too overly stressed as everyone says that you should be. So I feel like I just wanted to share my favorite tips to survive this week. My finals start next Monday. And yeah, I just wanted to share some of the tips that I have with you guys because although finals week is terrible and everybody, you know, stresses out and stuff, it doesn't have to be that bad. And I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to survive what's supposed to be your worst week of your semester in college or high school. So yeah, if you guys would like to see my tips, please keep watching. Okay, so I wrote down all my tips on my phone. And, <clears throat> and so my number one tip, my number one tip that I think helps me the most is to schedule my study time. And I know that kind of sounds weird, like to schedule a time to study, like a specific course, a specific test. But I find it so helpful to literally say, from this hour to this hour, I'm gonna study this subject. Then I'm gonna take a 30 minute break. Then I'm gonna do this and like literally have when you're gonna study each final. So I will show you guys how I do this. I used to just um, do it on an Excel sheet or even before you can just write it down. But now I'm using my tiny calendar app and I'm gonna go ahead and screen record this so you guys can watch with me um, kind of what I, um, how I schedule this out. So I just go into my app, Tiny Calendar, and this is my current week. I don't know when this video is going up, but anyways, this is this current week. It looks a little crazy, but if you start to look at the second, so I'll click on the individual day. This is my first day of dead days. So I have on the second that I'm going to study my programming, you know, for an hour and a half, then I'll take a 30 minute break and then um, I'll study for another hour and a half, take a bigger break, study for my other class, um, and then take another break, study for my other class. And then I have the same thing on Friday, I have work in the morning, then I have the times I'm going to study Saturday, I have some time for filming another video for you guys, as well as, you know, getting some sun in, and then again, when I'm going to study for my different finals. Um, Sunday, same thing, um, all the times that I'm going to study. And then Monday is my first final. So I'm gonna study before my final and then I'll have my actual final. So my biggest tip is that you schedule anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half of just grinding out, like just studying for one exam and then give yourself breaks. If you don't give yourself breaks, you're gonna overwhelm yourself. Another thing is I have, say I have finals A, B, and C on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. What I will do over my dead days is that the first start of dead days, I'll study what my last final is. So I would study for my final C. And then as you get to the middle of dead days or dead week, I would study the material from class B or exam B. And then the last part of your study days, which lead up to your first exam, I spend studying for my first exam so that I don't forget all the things that I study. Like say the beginning of the dead days, I've started studying really, really hard for that final that I have first, but then in between my studying for that final and actually having that final, I put in all this other material into my brain to study for my other finals. It can kind of confuse you. And so if you kind of do it in this backwards order, I feel like it makes sure that the material is fresh in your mind. Tip number two is to get cool school supplies. I know that sounds really nerdy and dorky, but I feel like whenever I get a fresh pack of pins, fresh pack of highlighters, um, some sticky notes, and some flashcards, 
it makes me, you know, feel a little bit better about the week and like I feel like, oh, I have all the materials in order to ace this test. So I'll always go and get my favorite pens. I always like the gel pens and duh, it has to be the ones that have colors. I got some Sharpie highlighters. Um, I, whenever I study and do my like study sheets, I like to highlight a lot. Always need index card, I, index cards. Honestly, I only got a hundred, I might need more. And then sticky notes, which I like to use for like my daily to-do list um, that I like to make myself like when I'm studying finals. So definitely getting school supplies or new pens or new pencils definitely helps um, kind of motivate you to get into the grind for this week. My third tip is to make a plan for each final. And basically what I mean by that is give your, make a list for each final and I'll show you guys a close up of mine, um, of my list for my finals, but basically I make a list for each final on what I'm going to do to study. So whether that's review notes, make flashcards, review presentations, read a book, watch a video, like those kind of things I will check off. And so on my study sheet, for example, um, I have, you know, complete a review, make flashcards, review notes, review old quizzes and exams, review PowerPoints. So then as I'm studying, I can kind of check it off. So this kind of makes it easier. So you're not just like, okay, how do I study? What do I need to study? And then you just kind of start randomly. If you go through each of these things, making sure that you're checking off all of your resources and you've studied in every way that you could, it makes you feel a lot more prepared for the exam. Tip number four, make a good study playlist. I have already done that tip for you guys. So I'm gonna link my study music playlist down below so you guys can check it out. But basically when I really, really need to focus, it depends on what subject I'm doing of course, but when I really need to focus, I like more chill music. Um, but not like so slow to where it's like gonna put you to sleep. I don't know. I think my playlist is pretty good So I'd link that down below tip five find good study spots This is definitely an important one Especially if you go to a university because everywhere is going to be packed So ahead of time you want to find kind of like your favorite spot or if it's at home that works too this year I don't know, I don't have a spot yet, so I need to pick one out, but usually like coffee shops, it's even fun to find somewhere like maybe 15 minutes away from your university that's definitely like not going to be super populated. I mean, the library obviously is always an option, it's just going to be crowded, so know that, plan ahead. My next tip, get ready every day. And okay, this is really important because, oh, especially over dead days, because you can, like those days, say you're gonna study the whole day. You have no reason to put nice clothes on, no reason to get ready if you're just gonna sit somewhere at a coffee shop or even sit at home and study. But the, the effort and the fact of you getting up, brushing your hair, like I'm not saying do a full face by any means, but just what you would do on an everyday basis, get ready, change out of your pajamas, then I think that really helps you kind of get going and be more productive. For example, like you don't have to change into anything comfy. Like I'm literally wearing like sweats right now and a sweatshirt and it's fine, but it's not what I slept in. So, you know, it gives me a little more motivation to start my day. Tip number seven, buy food you like. I, this is a really important tip because I think that whenever you get stressed, I think that you should have your favorite food lying around, whether it's your favorite candy, your favorite snack or whatever, or like I'm probably gonna make brownies or something because I love like box brownies. Always have like your food, your favorite food and your food that you really, really like around just in case you need a little pick me up. Number eight, going along with the last tip that I said, yes, you should buy food you like, but also you should try to eat healthy. And I know that's not, you know, like, it's tough, okay? It's tough eating healthy, especially on these late nights when all you want to do is get some fast food or you want to order food to your front door. But if you just try a little harder to make that conscious effort to eat healthy, you know, like don't binge out on junk food every day because all it's going to do is make you feel worse. I know that sucks because like, I think that you should have your indulgence, but just balance it out. Balance is key, everyone, okay? Tip number nine, do not skip breakfast. Okay, you have to eat breakfast every single, you have to eat breakfast, it's the most important meal of the day. 
even if it's just like a little breakfast like a protein bar or something anything helps you just don't want to skip that meal lately I've been liking bagels and I'll grab like a banana it literally takes like 10 minutes tops to eat and you're out the door super quick and my last tip for you guys is to get sleep okay all-nighters no don't do them they're not worth it they're not effective. It's if you plan your schedule time out, like I, I think it was my first tip, then you won't even need to pull all nighters because you'll already feel prepared from all the studying that you've done. Just try your best to get the most sleep that you can. I am going to shoot for being in bed by 11 every single night of this week. And I think that that's a really good goal, especially if you have 8 a.m. final. I think it could literally alter how you do on your final because like when I'm exhausted, I don't want to do anything. All I can think about is getting back in my bed and I know that if I was exhausted on the day of one of my finals, I would not perform as well. So that is all my tips for you guys. I hope that you guys survive finals week and it's almost summer, so that's super exciting. I can't wait. I have so many fun things planned for this summer and um, I'm going to Rolling Loud in the next week and so I'm super excited for that. Definitely a video coming soon. Um, yeah, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you did or if you want more videos like this, more tips and trick videos, please let me know in the comments down below. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Pretty soon, I'ma take your phone, Aisha.